The Microsoft AZ900 certification is a really good foundational certification and it's a great introduction to cloud. In this video I'm going to be talking about the basic steps you can take to pass the exam because it's an exam that's not particularly hard and you don't need too much revision but you certainly need to put some effort in and do some practice. So to begin, the exam is between 40 to 60 uh, questions long and it lasts 60 minutes however you should be able to finish it way quicker than that. Um, it will cover basically four main subjects. So the first subject is cloud concepts. So things like different types of cloud, so infrastructure as a service, um, platform as a service and the benefits and drawbacks of using cloud. The second thing it covers is core as your services. So essential services like virtual machines, storage, databases and networking. Um, the third thing it covers is security. So Azure has a lot of different security tools. And the fourth thing is Azure pricing. So you have to know those sort of different types of tools that will manage costs and pricing. In terms of your revision, I would recommend going through YouTube first. Andrew Brown has a really popular uh, AZ900 course and that covers almost everything you need to know to pass the exam. However, there are other material, this material on Udemy and John Seville is really popular for crash course dumps. The second thing is MS Docs. So Microsoft Learn and Microsoft Documentation is very important in passing the exam. It's basically got everything you actually need to know. It's very important for referencing and especially when um, actually doing past papers like going back and uh, being able to investigate whether an answer is correct or not. The third thing that's really important is in my case Udemy and Udemy have their own AZ900 courses but it's the past papers that are really really important. Um, I found that you really have to do multiple past papers to pass the exam and Udemy will have access to um, lots of different practice papers which can make it cheaper rather than just buying them individually from like, different kinds of websites. The fourth thing I would advise is making an Azure account. Um, this is free to do and if you can't get a free trial you can always make a pay-as-you-go account where you can just sort of mess around create virtual machines. It might cost a few pounds or pennies so you just have to be careful you don't select anything that you shouldn't and just be aware of cost management. The fifth thing is planning how you are going to do the exam. So the AS900 um, depending on who you are and how much free time you have it's really an exam that you can sort of study between a month or two months and pass you can easily do this exam in a month um, try to dedicate maybe an hour or two hours every day to go through course material and make sure you have time to do practice papers and then hopefully you should be able to pass the exam